The Greater Cincinnati Black Business Hall of Fame will induct a new class this weekend. The Greater Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky African American Chamber of Commerce is holding its annual Hall of Fame celebration online, though, of course, this year. Everybody has to pivot, right? WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller spoke with organizers about how the virtual event will work. It's not easy because you've got to explain to people we're going to have an event but you're not going to be able to see and touch people because of the pandemic. 2020 has proven to be a difficult year, but it's not stopping the greater Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky African American Chamber of Commerce. Typically, it's a big gala. We have like 800 people. I mean, it's really filled out. People are wearing tuxedos and uh, long dresses and things along those lines. This Saturday, the chamber plans to induct and honor seven black entrepreneurs and it will do it live on Facebook. What we really wanted to do is make sure that we honored those that we are inducting you know, this year and not trying to wait, because if there's one thing that we've all learned, if we didn't realize it before, tomorrow's not promised. Christy Clemens Williams says pushing through with the induction is a needed motivation. For those who are struggling right now, I think it's really important to see those business owners that have been able to maintain their business regardless of what you've gone through over the past 20, 30 years. In addition to the seven new inductees, a new award is being presented. The chamber will give the chairman's award to Julian J. Raj Rogers, a local entrepreneur who owns several popular bars and restaurants. It's easy to do those things where you're, you're at a place where it's constant kind of tourism and people are showing up every weekend to spend money. But to be able to try to create something in a Midwest town like Cincinnati that traditionally has never had a, a, a nightlife or had anything for us to do, you know, to me, I feel like that was my, it was my civic duty, you know, to get my city popping. I want to make sure my city's popping. He recently opened the city's only black owned BP gas station located at Winton and North Bend Roads. And even in doing a lot of stuff where we're the first or we're the only, it's like, I know it was time for a change. That's the reason why we did it. Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News. The event begins at 6 p.m. on Saturday. Ticket holders can pick up a historical shoebox dinner before the show begins to enjoy while they watch it. And you can still get your tickets by visiting WCPO.com.